Speaker, I rise to support this legislation. I'm very pleased and proud that we've included Westchester County in the downstate region. I think we have to put this legislation into perspective. We're talking here about trying to give people who produce a fair day's work a fair day's pay for that work. Those who benefit by our exploitive system should be paying more to, whom, to those who are allowing them to run their businesses and to produce their products. I reject the argument that increasing the cost of employees necessarily implies that employers will hire fewer. That argument is based on the logic that today employers are hiring extra employees who are sitting around just doing nothing. No employers hire those number of employees that they need, and they will continue to do so. But under our legislation, we'll just require them to be fairer in what they pay. I also reject the argument that the taxpayers should increase the earned income credit and then subsidize those who are making money on this exploitive system. It's those who benefit by the employees who should be paying the employees, not the taxpayers. And finally, I reject the argument that somehow this is a zero-sum game, that by giving those at the bottom more, those at the top will be getting less. The multiplier effect is far greater when you give more money to the people at the bottom, and I suggest our entire system will be doing far better if the people at the bottom are getting paid more. And there are too few right now who are getting paid enough. The poverty rate in New York is 15 percent, and if we take a look, we will see the numbers argue very much for this legislation. The median home price in New York is five times the median household income. And the cost of living is extremely high. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I'm very pleased to vote in the affirmative for this legislation.